Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a first impressions video for you. I'm going to apologize in advance for the lighting. Um, I've got the window open because it was sweltering in here and I'm not going to close it because I prefer to be comfortable. Uh, but every once in a while a breeze is going to blow the curtains all over the place and it's going to affect the lighting. So just be ready for that to happen. Uh, the knife I've got for you today is really, really cool. Uh, and I've got to tell you, this is a knife that I went back and forth on. So I'd love to hear in the comments below, have you had this experience before? Uh, I will say this, when I first saw this knife, I was like, oh yeah, I need that. That looks awesome. And then I was like, well, maybe not. I'm not so sure. And I watched a couple of different videos on it and that didn't help because, you know, some people, they, I, I feel like a lot of people have been similarly on the fence. Um, recently I've been watching, uh, I watched a couple of Eugene Kwan's videos um, and this was one of them and that kind of put me over. So uh, let's get this opened up. I wanted to have the packaging here because I really, really like what Riyadh has done with the packaging. So uh, what we have here is hook and loop, opens up into a little pouch like this. Then inside we have a little Riot bag, microfiber cloth, which by the way, I'll never use. So you can, can tell me to do this as well. I've got a couple of, for, of microfiber cloths from knives that I've gotten over the years. They sit in my drawer. I've got one like in my desk and one in my knife drawer at home. And those are the two that I use. So all these other knives that come with a bag, I don't even take them out. I just don't have any use for them. And then this does come with some extra hardware, no extra washers, but uh, a bit of extra other bit of hardware for some other components. So let's uh, get these guys all back in here and then Hold on. Sorry, guys. I should have probably just forgotten about doing that, but you're going to have to bear with me. Okay, now let's go ahead and finally get our hands on the knife. And what we have here is the Riot Iron. Move this thing out of the way. So, let me know what you guys think. But honestly, when I first saw this knife, I saw it just like this, and I was like, that is, is fantastic. Hold on. It's all fingerprinty. There we go. Let's try this again. Saw this and I was like, yeah, that is really, really nice. Um, I love the micarta. I love the blade shape. Now, in this case, the hardware is blue. There were some other really weird options that I just didn't really love. Uh, there was like pink and purple and green, which I didn't think matched with anything. Uh, you can also get this in carbon fiber. And then on the lock side, they've got some milling that they've done here. All right. And this is one of the things that made me not so sure about this knife. Now, having had it now in person and looking at it like this, I have to say I really, really like this. I don't know why, but for some reason, at least to me, this didn't translate well. I'm trying to get this thing to focus. This didn't translate well on video. So now that I've got it in hand, I'm like, hey, actually, I kind of like that milling. Uh, I still prefer this side, and I would have loved to see this be just plain. But you see this line right here where they've done this milling? If they had just done an inlay, a micarta inlay that matched this side, I think it would have been perfect. Uh, that said, I still like it an awful lot. I love the, you know, from a from a purely what would you say, design and and overall aesthetic perspective. I, I'm actually a really, really big fan, more so now that I've got it in person than even I was when I first saw it on video. And I liked it enough on video and in pictures that I bought one. So clearly I liked it and now I just like it even more. So let's do a quick rundown on the features here and uh, then we'll give you a size and weight and my initial thoughts. So obviously it's a titanium frame lock. We've got a very stocky M390 blade here with a saber grind. Very, you know, Spyderco-ish blade shape here. Reminds me of the Manix, even reminds me a little bit of the uh, Wee Knives Malice. Both of those I think are, you know, kind of, I don't know, put me in mind of this knife. Come on, I want you to focus on the knife. There we go. So really, really like this blade a lot. I love those React grind lines. They do such a great job. This is available in some other options. So in addition to, I mentioned the different colors on the hardware, you can get this in a thumb stud, but I didn't, the thumb stud was a weird shape and I just wasn't sure about it. So I went with the flipper. I like the flipper quite a bit. 
All right, so let's move down to, so we've talked about the blade just a little bit, M390, uh, very nice and thin behind the edge, fairly thick stock, saber grind, choil here that I do enjoy quite a bit. Moving to this pivot, look at that decorative pivot. They've done a really, really nice job on that. I have to say, and, and I love the way that anno's just got a bit of a purple tint to it. Really, really like that. Um, obviously, it's ceramic bearings here. This is a Riot. To my knowledge, this is not a double row ceramic bearing. I kind of wish it was. It's just single row, but the action is very, very nice. The other thing I will say is this micarta inlay is really interesting. So they've got, it's actually sort of inlay and inlay. So they've got the micarta here, which is inlaid, and then this piece of titanium is separate and it's dropped in. And I've got to say the finish on this is truly excellent. Like you cannot feel any bar borders. And I don't know... Let's try and focus this again. Look at that. There is a line here, but it's barely visible. They did such a nice job. So let's back out a little bit more. It seems like I'm going to have to manually force the stupid thing to focus all the way through this. Uh, so that's the handle. Again, I love the blue. I love the micarta. We've got a backspacer, milled clip, continuing, continuing with the uh, decorative pivot there. If you look internally, there is some internal milling, and there's a bit of a detent ramp. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. This is probably the best angle to take a look at it. You can just barely see how there's a little bit of a cutout in the, the tang there. That's where that uh, detent, ra detent ramp is. And it's not a major detent ramp. It's just barely there. All right, so look at I fingered printed this thing up all again. That's just because it's summer and humid, and there we go. Um, so, initial reaction to this knife, very, very nice. In fact, in person, um, I'm finding I like it a little more than perhaps, you know, when I, was, when I was looking at this, I was really on the fence, and that's why it took me so long to end up picking one of these up. But now that I have it, I'm really, really glad that I got one of these. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, let's go on to size and weight, which we haven't even touched on yet. So this is 7 and 9 sixteenths overall, which is smaller than I normally like, but I'm making an exception here. I, I don't know if I'd want this bigger. I really, really like this as it sits here right now. Blade length is only 3 and a quarter inches, which again is normally a little small for me. Handle length is 4 and 5 sixteenths. Okay, so that's this length right here. 3 eighths grip area, or <laughs> wow, let's try 3 and 5 eighths. So between here and here, 3 and 5 eighths. In my hand, that works just fine. And then you do have that choil there. I should have mentioned this, but they've done a nice job of giving me a bit of real estate up here on the blade so that when I'm choking up, I can still have somewhere to put my thumb. I do, inf I do appreciate that. And there goes that... Uh, wind blowing the the curtains all around the one thing i better point out here is this is a chunky little knife okay 4.7 ounces which is fairly hefty okay not the end of the world and i i haven't had actually had a chance to slip this in my pocket yet i literally just took it out of the box like five minutes ago but uh because of the size and the rounding i don't i don't have anticipate having any problems i'm carrying uh oh i'm carrying the 8010 today so obviously when i switch it out for this it's not going to be a problem um, what are my overall thoughts here? Well, I, I definitely love this design. Very, very cool design. Nice size for most people. Very enjoyable high-end titanium frame lock. Great action. Lots of fun to, to flip and fiddle with. And uh, my only, you know, I still kind of wish, initially in pictures I said this and I'd stand by it, I wish that they had just gone plain on this side and instead of all this milling, just done one strip of micarta to tie in with this side right here, right? Just just copy this top portion and, and move it over to that side would have been great. But anyway, uh, what they've done is still fine. And I, I have to say, in person, what they've done is actually pretty good. So, you know, I, as I say, I had my doubts initially, but I actually like this quite a bit. Now, you know, there, you can look at it. I think it's a pretty attractive looking knife, even on the lock side. So, uh, great manufacturer, great knife. I'm really, really glad to be able to, to add this to the collection. Uh, I've, you know, I've been eyeing this for months now since it first came out. 
uh, and uh, I have to say I'm not disappointed. So there you go guys, if you're looking for something a little higher end, something a little nicer, if you want to re-out and you don't want to pay, you know, they've got some stuff that pushes the $500 mark. Uh, this is fairly affordable. I think these go for like $325, $335, something like that. So not crazy. I also know that they didn't make a ton of these, so if you want one, you probably have a limited amount of time to get your hands on one. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to use the links down below. This did come from White Mountain Knives, and I believe uh, as of the other day when I looked, they still had some in stock. Now, I haven't looked today, so the fact that I'm making a video about it probably means <laughs> that they're all gone because that seems to be the way it goes. Uh, but if you want one, check White Mountain Knives, and at least you can use my discount co code to save a little bit of money off of that price point over there. Again, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.